Let's graph the linear equation y equals x minus 7. And we're going to do this with the table of values. So the first thing we want to do, we want to put a value in for x, do the math, and see what we end up with for y. So I always like to start out with 0. 0 minus 7, that gives us that negative 7 there. Let's choose something a little bit bigger here so we can keep numbers that show up on our graph. So if we said, say, 7 for x, 7 minus 7, that's 0. And then how about 4? 4 minus 7, that's the negative 3. So these are the points that we'll graph for this equation, y equals x minus 7. We could have chosen any points for x and get values for y. These are just good because we know they're going to fit on our graph paper here. So let's graph them. We have 0 for x and then negative 7 for y. We have 7 for x and 0 for y. And finally, we have 4 for x and negative 3. There's negative 3 on the y. And if we put a line through these like this here, put arrows to show it goes to infinity, this is the graph for y equals x minus 7. You could have put any values in for x. The value you'd get for y when you graphed it, it would be on this line here. You could also use slope-intercept formula to do this. If you need help with that, there's a link to a video at the end of this video. This is Dr. B graphing the equation y equals x minus 7. Thanks for watching.